Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, hopefully you're having a good day and everybody that's uh, finishing up their training, McDonough, good luck on your testing. Um, I got an email this morning and I keep getting additional emails on the news stories that are floating around about strikes and, and all kind of other things. Um, it, this is kind of a hard topic because it's important to be informed. It's important to have people to discuss these things with. Um, it's important to understand how policies with the railroad and things like that affect you as an employee. Um, but if you aren't educated enough or you haven't been with the company long enough, trying to gather that information from internet forums and, and YouTube channels and things like that, it's, it's really hard to say because some people do this really well. Like my buddy, Joey Cobb over, over at Railroad Talk, He's completely fair. He basically gives you all the information that you need as far as that stuff goes, but he's not hog tying you as an employee because of it. Um, if you head on to any of these other message boards, they're, they're pretty much telling you, don't do it, don't do it, all this other stuff. Look, if you've made the decision to become a railroad employee, uh, the last place you need to be is in internet forums and, and discussing policy with people. The only thing you should be focusing on is staying safe, making your money and going home. Um, realistically with any kind of railroad strike and things that that are going going to happen here um the message that i got this morning is what sparked this so as far as the the timelines and things understand there's a very good chance that the strike or, or anything that happens or negotiations that happen are going to conclude before you even finish fucking training like you are going to be training for 13 weeks three weeks in mcdonough and most likely 10 at your home terminal most of the time and, and most likely all the stuff is going to blow or blow over by then. Um, as far as retaliation, the, that was the thing that kind of, kind of pissed me off, to be honest. Like this person is a brand new employee. And the thing that they're worried about right now is retaliation from current members because they come in as a scab and, and, and they basically say, OK, well, that the company is going to treat me like shit because I'm filling in where they're trying to protest. Look, like I said, you're going to be in training for 13 fucking weeks. And when you're done, you're going to join the same union that all those people are in, which have anti-retaliation clauses with them. Uh, so if you're really worried about that, just understand that's again, another union protection is anti-retaliation. It's also a company protection through HR. Um, so please do yourself a favor, just put your head down, get through training and, and learn the job so that you can stay safe, make your money and make it home to your family at the end of the night. If, if when it comes to policy or anything else that's going on, yeah, sure, it's fun to commiserate and talk and, and bullshit with the people in your crew and that kind of thing. But please don't let it fill up your headspace if there's not a signature attached to it or if the policy hasn't passed. Because if it hasn't done either one of those two things, it doesn't fucking affect you. <laughs> okay? So do what you can, guys. I hope that's not too blunt, but it, it just is what it is. I mean, I... There, there is a catcher's mitt. The internet is a catcher's mitt for complaints. You're never going to go on there and be like, hey, loved everything about it. Like, it's just not going to happen. I mean, if you have a great experience at Olive Garden, most of the time they're not running to the internet to tell people about it. But if somebody spills fucking coffee in their lab, you're going to hear about it. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. Let me know if you need anything. I'm trying to get these e-learnings out as quick as possible. I hope you guys understand that the more people are involved with this, the, the longer it takes me to do it because I'm trying to catch, you know, 150 different emails that are coming through saying, hey, send me e-learnings, that kind of stuff. Doing what I can. I'll get them out as soon as I can. If you don't get it within, let's say, a week, just shoot me another message. I, I will get it out to you. All right. I'll talk to you guys. Take care.